And now before we move on, let's add another component to our game engine right underneath keyboard. And this one will be called mouse. So we're adding the mouse controls for the first time into our game engine. This usually means that we need to add a new file to our game engine and I'll do that. Mouse.js then I'll simply drag the mouse.js into our editor code editor and I'll go ahead and create a new class for mouse controls and we'll call it mouse within this class we'll store the X and Y position of the mouse which by default is set to zero and I'll create a function called initialize which will initialize the mouse coordinates for our game and we'll use jQuery here to attach a an event to let's say an el element has been passed into this function and we'll attach a mouse move event to this function and so this means that every time the mouse moves on this element that we have chosen the X and Y coordinates will be populated with the current position of the mouse within that element and that information is stored within the events page Y and page X page Y, page X and page Y properties. Actually let's go ahead and change this to mouse controls so we can create an object called mouse new mouse controls and if we go back into our game code and scroll down to our where we initialize our keyboard now we can initialize mouse in the same way and so what this gives us is the X and Y coordinates of the mouse we're forgetting one more thing that is to pass a element and I think it was canvas that our canvas tag was called actually it was game so I'm gonna grab this ID and repaste it here and so we have just initialized mouse controls for the game canvas element and now we need to do one more thing if we go back to our mouse class and because we're attaching a mouse move event this X and Y coordinates will be attached to the this object within the scope that is right here but what we are really looking for is to attach it to the scope of this object here and they are different so the way we're doing it right now is simply not going to work and to fix this issue there's a small workaround that you can use you can actually create remember that any variables that you create in this scope for this object will belong in the same scope with this object and so while we're still here we can create a that variable and assign this to it so now we have that memorizing the scope of this function and so what we'll do is simply take that and bring it into this function and replace it unless we do this this function is not going to return the results and assign them properly to this X and Y property there's one more thing that is left to do and we haven't cleared the background of our canvas yet so let's go ahead and do that we'll use begin path as usual and this time we'll draw a rectangle that spans across our entire canvas 640 by 480 let's clear it with white background for now and to actually clear 
we need to call the fill function. And so now that we're clearing the background with white color and our mouse is initialized and we have a normal, I want to show you something by adding mouse coordinates to the line so it can be movable to demonstrate some effects. So in this will be mouse x, y, and because this is a vector we need to subtract mouse and y, and just to see what happens. I'll refresh the browser now. And so finally I uncommented the original normal calculation and you will see while it's not on the center line of course it's always perpendicular to the normal that's coming out of the center of the blue line. And so you can download the source code for this from the link on the screen and at this point we have our mouse controls, uh, the basic point and segment library and so if you download the source code right now it will contain everything in this tutorial so please go ahead and download the file and it will be very useful for our future tutorials that will use a lot of this code and you can also support creation of independent video game tutorials by submitting a donation you can just go to the link that you see on the screen and if you feel like helping my channel you can do that and i will see you in my next tutorial